transcription begins with the partial unwinding of the DNA molecule by an enzyme called the DNA helicase. Once the DNA molecule is unwound at the correct location, an enzyme called RNA polymerase moves along the DNA, making a complementary strand of mRNA out of free bases in the nucleus. After transcription, the new mRNA strand is released, and the two unzipped DNA strands bind together again to form the double helix. The mRNA is processed to remove non-coding regions called introns and leave only the protein-coding regions called exons. This begins with the assembly of helper proteins at the intron and exon borders. They act as beacons to guide riboproteins to form a spliceosome. The spliceosome brings the exons very close together and cuts the mRNA to join them. The edited mRNA and introns are released and the spliceosome disassembles. The mRNA then moves out of the nucleus and into the cytoplasm. A ribosome binds to the mRNA. A tRNA molecule carries an amino acid to the ribosome and binds to the start codon of the mRNA. The tRNA has the binding site of three bases called an anticodon that is complementary to the mRNA codon. As the triplet is read, the tRNA delivers the corresponding amino acid. This process is repeated multiple times and a polypeptide is formed. Once the stop codon is reached, a release factor binds to the codon and causes a water molecule to be added to the end of the polypeptide. The chain separates from the last tRNA and the ribosome splits into its subunits. The new protein is sent for final processing into the endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi apparatus.